Welcome to Upside Down. Today I'll give you a quick course on 3ds Max with everything that you need to know to start creating your first models and scenes in just 10 minutes. We are going to use 3ds Max 2021 as an example, but this can be applied to any older version as well. If you're new to this channel, I make tutorials for 3D artists, so subscribe and hit the bell so that you can stay in touch with all the new videos that I'm posting. Now let's start. First, interface and where you can find things. As soon as you open 3ds Max, you will see four viewports. On the top left corner of each of the viewports, you can find all the parameters and settings for it. And on the right side, you will find a cube which will help you navigate in your scene. Next, the top toolbar is where you will find all the most used tools. You can easily remember where you can find the tools that you need as it's divided in few sections. Starting from the very left, we have the redo and undo. After that, creating and editing links. This is mostly used for animations and VFXs. Navigation tools is the place where you will find different types of selections as well as everything you need to move your objects around the scene. And after that, you can find helpers tools that will help you snap objects while rotating or moving them around. Moving to the right, you can find tools for mirroring and aligning objects and as well a few other toggles for modeling or animation tools. And the last part is going to be about materials and rendering setups plus render button. Now moving on the left of the screen, there you can find your scene explorer that will show you all the elements that you have inside the scene. From there you can freeze or hide each of the elements and as well, I'll give you a very quick tip there. I strongly recommend you that you give good names to your objects as scenes can get very messy very quickly, especially when you're creating a bigger scene. Now moving to the bottom where we can see a timeline. It's used to create keyframes for animation. Right under it, we can find the timelines navigation and keyframe tools that you can use to preview or to add keyframes. And on the very far bottom corner, right next to the navigation tools for animations, you can find all the tools that you need for navigating in your viewport. Things like zoom, pan, orbit, or maximize and minimize your viewport. Last of the menus, and this is our heart and soul of 3ds Max, is the place from where you will be creating or editing your models. On the right side, you can find few tabs and sub tabs that could look scary at first, but once you've done few models, you will get very used to them. The first tab is create. This is the place to go if you want to add geometrical shapes or splines in your scene and after that start modifying them. After that, it's modify from where you can access all the parameters of the objects that you already created, as well as different modifiers that you can apply on them. And the last tab that we will see before jumping into creating models is hierarchy tab. This is a place where you can edit the pivot point of your objects as well as a few other more in-depth settings. Now let's jump into creating 3D models. At the start we are going to go inside the create tab after choosing geometry and from there we can pick a standard model from the list, like a box or a sphere. Now that we created a few objects in the scene we can see what parameters each of them is offering. While we have the object selected, you can click on the Modify tab and there in the list we are going to see all the available parameters. If we want to have full freedom of our modifications on the 3D model that we created, we can right click on a model inside the viewport and select Convert to Editable Poly. Now if we go inside the Modification tab, you can see that there are a lot more options. We can select different elements like vertices, edges or polygons. As well, we have two other types of selections, which are just variations of the edge and polygon selection. For example, the border selects all the edges, but only where you have opening on your model. And elements, on the other hand, can select all the polygons or the so-called element for more complex objects that are constructed from two or more elements. Now that you learn how to create your first 3D objects, I would like to tell you one more important menu from where you can save, open or import your files. If you click on the file on the top left corner, you can save or load your projects. As well, you can go and export or import different formats in your scene. Some of the most popular formats are going to be FBX, OBJ or 3DS. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that this quick tutorial will jumpstart your journey as a 3D artist. Subscribe, give us a like and leave a comment down below if you want me to make more tutorials like this. Thank you for supporting the channel. See you next time.